are we? Scott? Mm. More specifically, who are we as a nation? That's how I natural, 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 natural. Y'all with them? Oh, I'm not. Hold on, wait, y'all. We, all the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. We're not African American. We're not black, not the color of our shape. We're not Negroes. We're not niggers. We're not Thots. We're not Latinos, Hispanics. We, as a nation of people that you see right here, make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. We are the Israelites. So, what comes with that? Right now, yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, target on the back. Mm. Yeah. But more importantly, this whole earth. You know, we supposed to be ruling this thing, right? <laughs> why we ain't ruling this? Uh, why do you see all this foolishness before you? Why do you see your brothers on the highways and byways teaching? Right. That is heck. Why though? Everybody else know they just had a Palestinian rally down there. They know who they were. They had flags and everything. Why our people ain't down here together? Why we don't know who we are? Time to know, so it's high time. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. So you got to understand who these people are, who they are, why this happened, why are we even out here with this timeline, why are these fools on here, why are people dressing like this instead of royalty, why are the men dressing up like this? Why are the men sagging their pants? Why are the brothers who making money want to go date the other nation? Why are we killing ourselves for idolatry, uh, idols? Why are we celebrating they high holiday or they holiday and don't know who we are? Turn it up. The book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Uh -huh. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time. Now what? Now it is high time. Now it is high time that what? To awake out of to what? To awake to what? To, to awake. awake out of what? Out of sleep. Out of sleep. Right now we sleep every day, not knowing who the hell we are. Right. Sleep. Right. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Hey, let me get the uh, put up in the beach. We sleep. We've been put to sleep though. Who put us to sleep? Was it the TV? Was it the phone? The tablet? To the point where we don't know who we are. We sleep right now. That's why the Lord told us in Romans 13, look, it's high time that we wake the hell up. Because your salvation is nearer than you expect than you thought. You got this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 10. Deuteronomy 28, 15. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. Who did that? For the, the Lord, Lord hath poured oh, out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. So who are we out here talking to? The Israelites. We out here waking them up in the last days because what? For the, for the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. Can you read? And have closed your eyes. Have they what? And, and have, have closed, closed your, your eyes. eyes. Uh -huh. The prophets and rulers and your rulers, the seers, have ye covered. He closed everybody's mindset. Our rulers, our leaders, our pastors, deacons. They don't know who we are. They just up in the churches. Ah, give me your money. I feel good. If you want a blessing, put it in the plate right here. That's what the pastor is doing. That's right. That's right. And everybody in there shucking and jiving, dancing, right. passing out, running around the church, putting their money in. You still you walk in, you don't know what's going on. You walk out, you don't know what's going on. All you know is I had a good time. Right. Feel good time. Mm. Like you even went to the club or something. Bring that out and do the rock. So it said that we are asleep as a people. It's uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. If this is the not, reason why the Lord put us to sleep, go ahead. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will what? If thou will not, not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses. So if we didn't keep his commandments. 
It's that simple. If we don't keep his commandments, we will be cursed. One of the curses is he's going to strip us of our heritage. Let me get that in Jeremiah 17 and 4. Do you know what a heritage is, sis? Like as a nation of people, what would be a heritage for the so-called Chinese man or Japanese man? What's something that you can label or see that they do and they do only? What's something, what do they eat with? Do we eat with chopsticks? That's they cut. That's part of their heritage. Right. The dragon, the fireworks. Then they go like that through the street. Right. That's part of their heritage. They custom. What's our custom? What's our heritage? Right. Hey, bro. You don't know. All we do is follow what they put on the TV or whatever they put in the songs and music. If they tell us to sag our pants, that's what we do. They say put tattoos all over your face, that's what we do. Whatever they tell us to do on TV, phones, and on uh, tablets, that's what we do. We don't have no customers. Even though our customers are right here. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Say what? And for thou, even thyself, shalt dis discontinue from thine heritage. The Lord said, we as a people are going to discontinue from our heritage. And he's going to strip everything away from us. Our language. Do you know our original language? Hebrew. He spoke Hebrew. We speak in English now. We stripped us of our heritage. The way we dress. How do we use the dress? Before the slave ship. See that? Stripped us of our heritage. What about the food that we ate? Stripped us of our heritage. Songs we sang. Everything that we did, we stripped it of. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, to discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. Oh, what the Lord say? And I will cause thee to, to serve, serve thy enemies. enemies. So not only did he take everything away from us, our fame, our name, our land, he said, now I want to make you to serve your enemies. What? In the land which thou knowest not. In the what? In, In the, the land, land which, which thou, thou knowest not. not. Find an Israelite man, woman, and child anywhere in the world. That's not our land. Our land is where? Where we from? It ain't America. They brought us over here on these ships as slaves. But where were we at beforehand? They say we from Africa. We from Jerusalem. That's our homeland. But you got all different types of nations in our land right now. The so called Israeli, the Palestinians. Right. They over there in our land, going to war with each other. Right. But that's our land. The huh? Lord stripped us of our heritage and put us on ships and scattered us all around the world. Now we don't even know who we are. Is there any more on that? So we over here serving our enemies in a land that we ain't never been in before. How long we been in America? Uh, 500 years. 500 years. That ain't a long time. When you think about how they say the earth been here for millions of years, or thousands of years, we only been here 500 years, where the hell was we at beforehand? So we been stripped of our name, our heritage, everything about us, and then shipped around the world to serve our enemies. Right. What else? And it says, I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have killed a fire in my anger. So we pissed the Lord off. And what? Which shall burn forever. So what? Which shall burn forever. Until we do what? What got us where we got him made right now? Huh? What do we do to piss the Lord off? What do we do to get the curses put on us? We do the Rodney 28, 15 again. Listen to what he say. We do the 28, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, and thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. observe his laws and commandments, and his statutes which I command thee this day. If we don't keep these commandments, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. 
so we don't keep the Lord's commandments. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Our brothers getting their backs beat. It's going to happen. We need getting home in public and they taking pictures and smiling about it. What's going to happen? Our kids getting fed to alligators, to alligator bait. Cops beating us down, spraying us with water on, sticking dogs on, segregating us. These things were happening for us breaking the commandments. Now that's a real father right now. You know, today, most fathers don't even keep their word. And everything that he did to us, that's a, a true judgment. That's a righteous judgment. Why? Because he said he was going to do it and he did it. because they love us. Yeah, they, but nonetheless, we don't know who we are. Bring it out right quick. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 15. All right. And you shall right, leave bro. your yeah, name. Let me give you, you a fly right there. Let me give you a fly right fly. And you shall leave your name for a curse Here you go, so unto my chosen. Until who? Unto my chosen. chosen. So we don't know who we are as a people because the Lord gave us a curse. He cursed us. We left our name for a curse. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. You until my leave your name for a curse, sis. Y'all are not African Americans. You're not blacks. You're not colors. You are Israelites. That's, That's right. right. Y'all right. need to understand that. You, you got to stand boldly yes. on that thing. When you check that other box, sis, put Israelite on that. That's right. Do you know what that name even means? Why would we be out here standing bold as lions? putting our lives on the line to tell you that. It means something. African American, black, that don't mean nothing. Israelite means something, we're gonna show you. The book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 28. Hey, y'all listen to this. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, uh -huh. but Israel. But what? But, but Israel. Israel. But what? But, but Israel. Israel. Uh -huh. Which means what? For a prince has thou power with God. We got power with the Most High. The other nations wish they were in our position. They don't know who we are. I mean, they don't know who they are. Well, they do know who they are, but we don't know. Therefore, we don't have that power. We supposed to be trying down on these other nations, ruling over them. But we walking around lost as hell, don't know what the hell going on. She's going to and fro, you know? Man. Yeah. You see why we out here, sis? <laughs> right. I mean, y'all got to feel what y'all saying. Y'all do have point. She's just don't. So why did this happen again? Her? From what? Keeping our commitment to That's right. That's right. So who are we? Who are we, see? No, no. What are we? Who are we? Who are we? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And what we got to do, see? Keep the commitment. That's right. That's right. That's it. Hey, Trust in God. Hey, we got to trust in him. Have faith in Christ that came for us. Or your house shot. And we got to come back and keep these commandments. Do you right. know any of the commandments? What do you know? Ten you know it's more than 10, right? I, did. I just let God lead me. Check it out. I do they say they don't kill, commit God adultery, lead. right? Mm -hmm. Well, they don't tell you to get married. You see that? Yeah, but... <laughs> you would say that's self-explanatory, but it got to be broken down. Huh. The same way 
that we are not supposed to eat certain foods. That's in the scriptures. He got a whole chapter telling us what we're supposed to eat. Swine, pork, pea. You don't eat that, do you? You sure? You don't eat no uh, bacon, egg, eat. and cheese, do you? I don't eat meat. You don't eat meat? I don't eat red meat. Okay. okay. What about uh, catfish? Shrimp. shrimp, lobster? Fresh. None of that. All praise you. All no, praise you. Are, you already on the right path here. You know? Hey, you remember you gotta repent.